Another customer being thrown out of the B&B. &B. Oh, I don't think they make a habit of it. Oh, I'm not so sure. They were quite unpleasant to me over a little misunderstanding with my bill. Oh, most people in the village are very friendly. Glad to hear it, since I'm seeing you later for my interview. Oh, yes. Yes, it'll just be an informal chat in the cafe. Was that Manpreet's idea? No, 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 it's mine. Is everything OK between you two? Oh, sisters being sisters. Right. I'm sure it'll be fine. See you later. Differences from several of the practices I worked for. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, but your last practice was glad to get rid of you, weren't they? Uh, by the way, where's that CV we were supposed to get? I had a problem with my laptop, so I'm afraid I'll have to redo it. Hmm. How convenient. OK, if you must know, I had to sell it because I needed the money when I split with my husband. I had to find the deposit for a flat. I didn't mention it because it's not something I'm proud of. That's perfectly understandable. We don't have to worry about the CV for now. I can tell you I worked very closely with the doctor at my first practice. Well, knowing your definition of working closely, I'm not sure his wife would be best pleased about that. Can't we just forget about what happened with Dennis? Why are you being like this? I thought we were having a fresh start. Sorry, who's Dennis? Uh, no one. He's my ex-husband, Liam. Yeah, I came home one day and found Mina in bed with him. <gasps> really? Nicola, we're trying to conduct an informal chat here. Surely you can see there's no point in that now, Liam. OK, I made a mistake, but I've been trying to make up for it ever since. I was still trying yesterday. We were getting on. A couple of minutes sucking up isn't going to change who you are and what you did. OK, maybe we should just... I don't want to waste any more time with this, please. I mean, we've got plenty of other applicants. Any of them, all of them, will be better than her. You see what I'm up against? <laughs> this was always going to be a sham. Oh, she was determined I'd never get the job. I keep worrying that this was all my own fault. It wasn't. Everything Manpreet is holding against you happened years ago. Right now, all you did was apply for a job. I came here to try and put things right with my sister. I only wanted to work alongside Manpreet so she could see how much I've changed. But I hope she still will when I have persuaded her. It would be best for both of you if you got the job. Oh, that's not going to be easy. I made a lot of mistakes in the past. Things I don't think she can ever forgive. I don't see why not. Well, you wouldn't. You and Manpreet are as different as chalk and cheese. You're a forgiving man, a kind man, a caring man. Manpreet never forgives and forgets. Maybe she will. If I told her that healing this rift will make her happier too. Families should be there for each other. Yeah, that's really cute on a Christmas card, but life's not really like that, is it? Well, it could be, if you'd just give her a chance. Uh-uh. She's run out of chances. She hasn't changed. I mean, that's obvious, the way she's buttering you up. I told you she would have you wrapped around her little finger, just like she did with Dennis. It's nothing like that. You got Rishi to persuade Liam to go easy on you this morning, so clearly... You've got him dancing to your tune. That is ridiculous! I've already warned you about this. Stay away from my husband. I think you're overreacting a bit, Manpreet. Am I? Look, why is she even here? Because she was upset. Maybe she's made mistakes in the past, but right now, she genuinely wants to put things right. So, you're taking her side against mine? All I'm asking you to do is give your sister another chance. That's all I'm here for. You're here to see what you can get out of my husband. Please, Manpreet. I want us to be friends. I promise I won't let you down again. No, you won't. You're not going to get the chance. I want you out of this house right now. I hope you don't regret that. 